What's up, my fellow educators? Welcome for the first time. We're back to another Deshaun Johnson video. And I have a good resource for you called Animaker. If you're looking to really spice things up in your classroom, presentation-wise, especially if you're an elementary teacher, your kids are going to be quite fond of this. Actually, my, my own children see me working and using this tool, and they get all giddy and excited to be able to see what their daddy is doing with uh, creating animated versions of himself. But speaking of animated versions of himself, let me show you some of the things that I've actually used Animaker to create with. And I'm going to do a little small demonstration after I actually give you some examples. So the first video that I actually did, and this isn't a good quality. So I'm going to go back. This is on my Facebook page right here. All right. So I'm going to play this. You guys are remote. Some of you guys are going to be right here into this classroom. But... I don't want to do all the talking. I'm about to introduce you guys to somebody else that's going to help me out for the remainder of this welcome video. So, I'd like to introduce you to Toon, Mr. Johnson. What, what is, is up, up everyone? everyone? This, this is probably the only time, time you're going to see me, actually. actually. <laughs> and I'm going to pause that right there because, like I said, this is Facebook and this is SD quality. But this is on the back end. This is what I actually created. Um, so you can see the cartoon animated version I made of myself here in the flesh and how I actually synced my own voice to this cartoon. I'm actually show you a whole sitcom episode that I did with this as well on my DLJ Works website. Please, Please don't, don't call, call me Toon, Mr. Johnson. Johnson. What's, What's wrong with just... just... <sighs> you know what? Never, never mind. mind. Uh, another, another school year. year. Yeah, yeah, a, a new, new year, year where... where okay so that is one example another example that i actually did let me see if i could pull this up with the video the quick time video that i have so what, what is, is up everybody, everybody? My, name my name is mr johnson, johnson and before i even get into teacher introductions, introductions i thought it'd be fun to bring in somebody to help me introduce this whole program that we're teaching so i'm bringing in your arrogant programmer so why don't you come on and introduce yourself All right, listen up, you noobs. Beginner, 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 all y'all together, novices, noobs to this. We just sit up here and call you noobs. That's just a really polite way of just calling you a beginner. Ain't that right? All right, be cool. Tell the wonderful students and parents what they're going to learn in this project in the classroom. All right, gather around, you stooges. I'm going to show you. All right, so that part of the video that I actually made was for my technology class that I started teaching. So this video that you see here was for my English year, and then the second year I started teaching Project STEM. So I use Animaker in many facets, and I'm going to show you one more example, all right, that I've actually used in making my own sitcom here. Hey, Dewan. If you were a real programmer, you will be able to code and answer my questions in real time like a compiler on steroids. And I just wrote some JavaScript that allows you to time travel back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you some clips to give you the idea of what you can actually create and use and do it and make it. And if you're really good at doing voices you're a voice actor you you want to you know you're you're teaching but you feel like you have other talents that aren't getting fully explored such as voice acting or writing or scripting because everything that i've done i scripted wrote it out performed it on my own um did the, the whole annoying voice that you hear with this guy right here and then my actual voice vocals you know on this gentleman right here is all been performed by me so there's so many things that you can actually do to push the envelope in terms of your creativity with Animaker, and it's very easy to use. So with that being said, let's actually go back to the back end and take a look at um, 
something that we can actually do just from scratch. And I'm just going to do something really quick here so I can just demonstrate. I just want to show you something very simple if this will load up properly. So give it a moment. Okay, now that one of the projects I've already had done has finally come to fruition. Here I have had something I was actually working on when I was actually just trying to play around and test this out, which is really good. So if you just really take time with Animaker, here I just had this guy just skipping across because I was trying to test the movement, seeing if I was able to understand the tweening and, and the other things on uh, Animaker that I actually wanted to use that on. Other things that you actually do when you're first loading up a new project is create a video. You can create a GIF. You can even make a character. You can create a presentation, do screen recording, create a voice, really good features, everything that you actually need in a one-stop shop. So even if you're not creating animations, this could be your one-time video player in terms of what you're trying to do on the back end side. If you're, you know, but this is still ideal for making your own animations. So if I wanted to add, so if we come down here, down here is our timeline. If you're ever worked with animations and creating those sorts of things, then you know that you will be working with any, there's going to be some sort of timeline where you're trying to animate something. You, if, as long as you understand a concept of putting things on a timeline, then you can create any, you can use any animation tool and create on top of it. My first foray into this wasn't even this, it was using Adobe Flash when I was going through my DeVry stint, when I was getting my web graphic design degree. So I really got introduced to using timelines, using that and trying to understand how they actually work. So you have to pay attention to your playhead and where it pops up at. Same thing if you're just doing video editing or whatever else. But even more so when you're animating, you need to understand uh, how this is actually working. So here I'm going to add a, uh, I'm going to actually delete him off. Just going to delete him and just simply click delete. So if we go to characters over here on your left hand side, you have everything that you want to add. If you wanted to add text, if I wanted to add text to pop up at the one second part, then maybe I'll just put, um, if it has a little flag, that means that you have to upgrade to a paid version, which I have on my other account, my DLJ Works account. But this is my school account, which is free. It's the freemium version. So we're going to just go ahead and just use this. So I'm just going to uh, double click. All right, I thought I had to click and drag, but we have to double click. So if I wanted to um, choose something, this is going to be a little bit too light on this so what we need to do here is we need to maybe highlight all right um and we want to change the color to maybe something that we can actually see on top of that so we want to actually maybe add something that's pale all right so something that's a little bit lighter all right and we go into so We can also ungroup if necessary, but right now I'm just playing around with it. All right, so we want to maybe add some drop shadows so we can actually see the back of it. Or we maybe want to highlight it. It's okay, so that adds a little bit to it. So if you want to change the background, you can make the background anything that you want to. So I'm going to take it off of that so we can actually see the lettering on here a little bit different. Bring this up some. All right. We're going to delete this. Okay, we're going to delete this. All right, perfect. All right, so now I got some letters up here that I've added here at the two second mark. So you need to pay attention where your timing is going to be. And if I wanted to, you know, so if it says upgrade, that means that, of course, like I said, you can't use them unless you use a paid version. So we're just going to put this guy on here. Okay, and we can actually make his movements we can bring this down to where he doesn't show up on the playhead until we hit that one second marker all right so and it looks like the actual text is going to be here on the entire scene over here is where your scene is going to be taking place so now we're going to go back to the one second marker because that's when our person shows up at all right so you can do when you do the overall timeline, this is looking at everything that you've put out on the stage, which is up here. You have your time, the length of the actual. The length of the actual like stage in terms of seconds is going to be seen down here. So if I go to scene timeline, it's only going to go and pay attention to the actual scene from the time that it starts from zero seconds all the way to the end, which is by default set to. Well, not by default, but I've set it here to. 12.8 seconds 
and our guy doesn't show up until the one second mark. Now, I'm going to go back over here on him. We want to make him maybe have some movement. So I'm going to click on him, and we're going to go to Actions. All right, and let me see here. So we want to do, like, maybe um, give him a standard talking. All right, want to give him standard talking. But what if I wanted to make him move from left to right? Okay, so I want to do um, some tweening here. It's not uh, act. That's action plus. We don't want that. We actually just want. Let's see. Okay, it's under smart move. So, so I'm going to. I want him to move from a very slow pace. So I'm gonna put him at the five second marker, and then he, this guy is gonna be at the beginning, and we want him to have a. And this is from left to right. So we're going, he's going to move from left to right. So without him having a walk in motion, that's all he's going to look like. So if I hit apply, we're just going to hit that. And he's just going to kind of slide across the screen. So we really don't want that to happen. All right. So we want him to actually have a, a walking motion appear to walking. Okay. And we can have him walking happily now. So let's actually see what that looks like. So the first second he's going to stand in place because I have a second part of him. And now it looks a little bit more natural. And of course, when we reach this end right here, reach this end. We want this action to be where he's just standing. All right. Okay, so that looks like that's applying for the same thing. So, so we're going to actually I know what to do. So we're going to bring this one down. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the action and let's just give him the walking motion again. Okay, and then we're going to put him. Okay, so at the end of it. All right, we're going to move this, this line, this timeline for that character down. So by the time this one gets done walking, you can see what I'm talking about. So think differently pops up. He slides. And actually we want him, we want this guy to have a walking motion. So I'm going to hit apply. I want him to have a walking action. So walking. All right, walking happily. Then we're going to just hit play. And so what it should transition once it gets to the five second mark. So you have to time it. So boom, so we completed a very simple walking animation where he's going from here at the one second mark. He doesn't appear on the screen until we hit one second and then um, at, after the five second mark, he's going to stop and stand still. So very simple stuff that I'm just demonstrating. The last thing I'm going to actually show you, because if you want to do the things that I was actually doing, all right, uh, then you're going to want to go to, you can go to uploads. If you want to like lips, I mean, sync his voice or whatnot. And we want to do it once he actually stops here. So I'm going to go to lip sync. And then I'll just record voice. You can also do text to speech if you want to, but let's just record voice. I'm going to hit yes. Okay. I like to go skiing. I don't know why I chose that at random, but I chose it. That's what we're going to go with. I'm going to hit stop. All right. We can preview it. I like to go skiing. I don't know why I chose that at random, but I chose it. That's what we're going to go with. All right, and I'm going to name it. I'm going to put random voice. And I'm going to hit apply. And it's syncing the audio. All right, so now I'm going to hit play to play the overall timeline. Thing different pops up. He just comes in, just skipping in place. He'll stop in to okay. talk. I like to go skiing. I don't know why I chose that at random, but I chose it. That's what we're going. To. Okay, so that is going to be a very simple tutorial on what you can actually do with 
Animaker and just understanding some very simple concepts. It takes some playing around. I'm not in Animaker every single day, which is why I had quite a few pauses in trying to remember, you know, in terms of how to place my character and when to time him to stop and thinking that he was going to stop automatically. But you have to remember that your character is going to go for the length of the time that you actually have on your timeline. Everything happens in the scrub area on your timeline from the length of time that the character is on there. You have to reduce it down. Just come over here. This right here is the overall scene. So if I was to like bring this scene down by 10 seconds, I could. This is the vocals because you can see the vocal animations is down here as well. But that's what this is right now. All right. You can also see that I also did. Well, let me take that off. I also did a. Um, oh, I took my random voice off, but that's OK. I also did a Steve Harvey animation that I also put inside of my one of my videos as well, which I'll leave in a link in the description for you to check that out. But let's take a look at the last thing for pricing. If you're looking into getting Animaker and this is something that interests you now one of the things that i actually use i actually have the basic plan right now all right which is five minute video length five premium downloads per month hd quality videos build five custom characters per month and two gig storage so and if you want the starter pack you could pay about you know 19 dollars or well actually this is 120 dollars if you're getting a yearly plan but if you're using them, you can actually pay, choose to do the monthly plan if you're trying to do um, $20 per month. And you can actually, you know, still get these same features or whatever the case may be. So if you get it yearly, it's going to be a lot cheaper. And if you're somebody who's going to be doing a lot of creations, you're going to be doing, you know, marketing videos. You're going to be creating certain things. You may have some clients that you need to shell this out for. The Animaker is a really good tool to actually use to really make your videos pop and do something differently with them that's going to be it make sure to go ahead and check out that the link in the description for animaker and if you're getting it through me you should be able to get a discount check with animaker on that and we will take care of you all right thanks for watching we will talk to you soon